Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm here to talk about a powerful analytical tool that can help us understand the relationships between different variables in our data correlation. Correlation is a statistical measure that quantifies the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. It is used extensively in data analysis, research, and decision-making across various fields, including science, business, and social sciences. Correlation comes in different types positive, negative, and zero. Positive correlation occurs when both variables move in the same direction. Negative correlation happens when both variables move in opposite directions while zero correlation means that there is no relationship between the variables. Correlation is commonly expressed as a correlation coefficient, which ranges from 1 to plus 1. A correlation coefficient of plus 1 indicates a perfect positive correlation, while a coefficient of 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation. A coefficient of zero means there is no correlation between the variables. Correlation analysis can help us in many ways, including identifying patterns, making predictions, and explaining relationships. For example, a company may use correlation analysis to identify the factors that are driving sales, or a scientist may use it to understand the relationship between two variables in an experiment. However, it's important to remember that correlation does not always imply causation. Just because two variables are correlated does not necessarily mean that one variable causes the other. There may be other variables or factors that are influencing the relationship, and it's important to consider these when making decisions based on correlation analysis. In conclusion, correlation is a powerful analytical tool that helps us understand the relationships between different variables in our data. By analyzing correlations, we can identify patterns, make predictions, and explain relationships. However, we must also be cautious when interpreting correlation, as it does not always imply causation. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this presentation has been informative.